Okay, another example of average velocity. A falling object moves so that its height above the ground is given by this equation. Okay, so there they give us like equation um, x, which represents now the height above the ground, is given by this thing. Where x is in meters and t is in seconds. Find the average velocity from time 0 to time 5. Okay, so average velocity we should immediately recognize great stuff I know which formula that is that's the formula V is equal to change in X over change in T now I want average velocity which means I must have change in displacement and I must have the change in time and here's a very good example of why there's this Delta this change in time okay so let's start with change in time Change in time is um, time 2 minus time 1. That's maybe best best way of looking at it. Okay, So the later time minus the earlier time. So that means it's 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. Okay, How about change in x? Well, this time we need to go and work out what is x at time 2 minus what is x at time 1 okay now be very careful I'm not saying x times time okay this is not x time times this is that function formula thing this f of x where x is now substituted into the function f same thing here we're going to substitute in the formula for x there's the formula for x we're going to substitute t so we're going to say x when we substitute 5 and x when we substitute 0 cool so let's start with x substituting 5 when we substitute 5 in here we get it's 126 plus negative 4.9 t squared in this case is 5 squared okay let's work that out with our calculator we have 126 plus 4.9 that has a negative times 5 squared that gives us answer of 3.5 okay 3,5 now what does that mean do you remember this means that this object is falling okay so we have an object here falling this is time 0 okay time zero and it's falling down to the ground okay after five seconds that's where we are now X is the height that it is above the ground so here's the ground okay we calculate it and this is the formula we calculate it that after five seconds this height above the ground will be given by three comma Five. It's 3,5 meters above the ground. Okay, let's take time 2. Okay, so x when time is 0. Okay, actually time 1, sorry. Okay, so at time 1, when x is 0, we see that if we substitute 126 plus negative 4,9 times 0, the second part squared will just be 0 so this is 126 okay so that was its original height 126 meters above the ground was its original height so how far did it fall that's far. in other words this piece how far is that piece well that's what we get when we take x5 minus x2 okay sorry not x2 x0 then we get 3 comma 5 minus 126 now why do we get a negative answer okay here we're getting a negative answer of 122 comma 5 but with a negative in front well that is because upwards was initially positive okay it was from the ground to the top is 126 and since it's falling downwards okay 
it means we're going in the opposite direction and vectors in the opposite direction have the opposite sign so instead of being positive it's negative vectors have direction okay always vectors have direction and this direction of this vector is downwards okay since it is negative it seems like upwards was assumed to be positive when I therefore take that after some time it's closer to the ground than it was before it means if I started if I started here and then later I'm there then obviously my displacement is downwards and the initial height was upwards above the ground that's where it started above the ground so in other words since vectors have direction this is very important to keep the negative there and what that will mean in the end is that indeed the velocity will also be negative okay let's see because we know that velocity is the change in displacement of a change in time change in displacement is now negative 122,5 and change in time we worked out was 5 so that now we know that is 5 and if we go and work this out we get the value of 122.5 that's a negative divided by 5 gives me negative 24.5 negative 24,5 meters per second so how on earth can a value have a negative velocity well, it simply means it's moving in the opposite direction than was originally assumed. Originally, we assumed that upwards will be the positive direction. So, if my velocity is, down, is negative, it means it is moving in the opposite direction or downwards. So, let's go input these answers. Okay, We know the formula. That's the correct formula. Substituting in here, we worked out this is negative 122.5. We worked out time is equal to 5. Please use the negative there. It would be wrong if you don't. Okay. S after substituting, we get that velocity is 1. No. Negative 122.5 times. No. Divide by 5. And that gives us velocity equal to negative 24. Point five, and don't forget your units meters per second to the power of negative one well done